In this segment, we're going to talk about keeping the community healthy and we'll explain uh, why that is important and what the trusted committer can do to grow a healthy community around the software that they are building. Uh, we said in the beginning that trusted committers have both tech-oriented and community-oriented responsibilities. It's not sufficient to just focus on code and code health only, because to ensure success in the long run, trusted committers need to keep their community, which is building the software, healthy as well. And because of that, they must strike a good balance between efforts spent on ensuring product quality and on growing a healthy community around the software. Another obvious reason for people to stick around is simply because they enjoy working with the members of that community, even including the trusted committers. Why this happens is because everyone in that community treats each other with the utmost respect, so it feels good to be there. Contributions are treated as a gift or a donation, not something that's annoying or taking up the trusted committer's time. And trusted committers laud both excellent and also first-time contributions. The trusted committer's job in all of this is primarily to set an example of how to behave, similar to how they set an example around software quality. If necessary, it's the trusted committer's job to set up a code of conduct within the community. And if there are community members who are persistently toxic or difficult to deal with, it's the trusted committer's job to either mentor them to a better place or figure out how to push them out of the community. The trusted committers should also create opportunities for the community to get together in person and know each other personally as an antidote to miscommunication that might happen online. And something I've heard a lot uh, during my work is that people stuck around because they recognized that their work in the inner source community was an excellent opportunity to acquire new skills and also to grow personally. And again, this is where the trusted committer is really important because they tend to become mentors for their contributors. And this mentorship uh, goes beyond just pointing out areas for improvement in a pull request, say. They will also want to explain why an improvement is necessary, the theory behind it, or maybe their, their own expertise in this matter and their experience. Uh, what I heard a lot actually is that people approached me and said, hey Georg, I never learned as much and as fast in my regular day job compared to the work in the inner source community. So that's that. And this is one of the reasons why we always prioritize onboarding and mentoring over reaching communicated milestones, unless there was a very good reason not to. Trusted committers do this because they understand the virtuous circle. Good mentoring in pull requests leads to a higher level of trust and engagement on the part of contributors, which leads to more people being willing to make contributions, and thus more contributions, and thus the opportunity for more mentoring. We'll talk about this in the segment on up-leveling the community. Finally, some people stick around in inner source communities simply because they get to focus on building software and they can ignore some of the overhead that exists in most companies that have heavy process. And how that happens is the trusted committer keeps things as streamlined as possible and where necessary makes concise guidelines available that really help people get up to speed quickly. And one aspect of these contribution guidelines is what I call signaling in pull requests. So in this guideline, you want to explain what a comment should look like and what it should contain. You want to explain what it means when you plus one or like a comment. Uh, you might want to dis explain what the difference is between at mentioning someone with a CC prefix or with an FYI prefix. Generally speaking, as a trusted committer, you want to make sure that the contribution process uncovers problem rather than be the cause of them. And since you never get it right in the first, uh, first try, you want to empower your community to make sure that they suggest improvements and that you adapt the process as a community. So for trusted committers to be able to fulfill all these responsibilities, it's really important for them to listen all the time to both their community members and to keep an ear to the ground, so to speak, so they know what's going on and, and what the community actually needs. We're going to go into more detail about this in advocating for the community's needs. So in summary, uh, as a trusted committer, you will want to create an interesting, a welcoming and an appreciative community that people want to work in, that they can focus uh, all their time on developing software. And also you want to create some opportunities for learning from each other and for growing personally.